everyone and welcome back to my channel thank you for being here and thank you for joining me for another video my second video on this channel i'm just gonna do another light day in the life today i've just got back from sainsbury's and just picked up a few bits because yesterday when i did the food shop i forgot some stuff uh so i'll show you what i got just in case anyone's interested some pears bananas a cucumber. I bought some Actimel yesterday but they was on offer and Actimel could be quite expensive so I thought I might as well just pick it up while it's cheaper because it lasts a long time anyway. Cinnamon and raisin bagels. I don't get the thins anymore. We're past that. We're over that. We get the full bagels. These are so much more satisfying. This can be such a trigger. Um, I used to only eat bagel thins and now I wouldn't go back. It's all about the big bagels. Maryland cookies, chocolate digestives. I've got the dark ones and the milk ones because I love both. Some dog treats for Hugo, which he doesn't know. He's in the, I don't know where he is. Hugo. Good boy, would you like a treat? Let's see if he wants one of these. He gets so excited when we get back from the shop because he knows that he's got a treat as well. We like treat him like a child, basically. Wait, wait. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, I just wanted to have a little chat, really. There's some things, like, on my last video that I didn't... Please stop. Do you want to come up? My house is a mess at the minute. Um, I'll show you the mess, because let's be real here. This is the situation of the spare room. This is not okay. He's stolen my chair. We're in the process of moving Connor's desk in here, so it's a bit of, gosh, a bit of more of an office for us. It's hard to um, say what you really think without worrying about how it's going to come across. But I think the way to get past that is you just say what you, just say what you think. And if some people don't like it, that's fine. They don't have to follow you or they don't have to be on your channel or whatever. And if people agree with you, then that's why they're here. Um, I'm really a strong believer of everything happens for a reason. And like people in your life are in your life for a reason. Whether it's that saying, isn't it? They're in your lesson for a life. What is it? What is it? Uh, well, I don't know the saying, but you probably know what I'm thinking of. Or well, you don't and you think I'm crazy. The, the most important person that you need to focus on is yourself. And the way we become the best versions of ourselves is by doing that and speaking our truth. <laughs> I honestly don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but in my head it makes sense, so that's why I'm saying it. It's just about putting yourself first, and a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. It's really hard to put yourself first when you're looking after children, or you're a carer, or you've got jobs, and you're, you're all over the place. Your mind is scrambled, and you forget that you sometimes end up neglecting yourself because of so many other aspects in your life that you're focusing on and whether that's by choice or not by choice it, it happens it's hard it is hard it is really hard but even just taking 10 minutes a day um morning or evening just to do something that is true to you um an example of this completely random i used to be so embarrassed when connor used to tell people that we played minecraft together um because i was like oh my god please don't tell people i play minecraft like i don't know why i had this stigma in my head and then their reactions well i do know why and it's because when he's told people their reactions like oh you play minecraft but we love it and we enjoy it and it's our our fun that we do together um and I just don't care what people think now. I play Minecraft, I don't care. I love it. As long as it makes you happy and you enjoy doing that, there's nothing wrong with it. And you should not let other people's opinions put you off from doing it or hide the fact that you're doing it or be embarrassed by the fact that you do it, whatever it is. Never feel embarrassed by doing things that you love doing because you're meant to be doing them things. If you truly love it and you wanna spend time doing them things, then you should do them things. There should be nothing that stops you, especially what other people think. This is gonna be a bit morbid, but when we are lying and we haven't got much time left, are you really gonna think, I'm so glad I stopped doing that because 
then other people started accepting me. And if you are thinking that, please, please get out of that mindset because the only person you need to be accepted by is yourself. That is the only person. If someone in your life doesn't accept you for who you truly are, get rid. Get rid. Cut ties. Cut them ties. Surround yourself with people who love you. Because there's so many people, so many people in the world who will love you and do love you for who you are and everything you do and what you stand for. And those are the people you need in your life. For so long, I was trapped in that circle of just seeing people because... I felt like I had to because they would message me and be like, oh, let's go for lunch. And we went to school together. So I'm like, okay, uh, how do I get out of this? Because I don't necessarily want to see them. And it's nothing, sometimes it's nothing to do with the person. You, you might love the person and you think a lot of them. If it's an effort to go see them, that's a sign that maybe you're not meant to go see them. And maybe it is the friendship or the relationship, whatever is, is done. Don't ever feel guilty for cutting people out if they don't they no longer fit into your life i mean we're all changing every single day we're all learning new things we're all on different journeys and some people will not be on the same journey as you and that's completely okay you don't have to be friends with everyone who likes the same things as you or agrees with you about everything but they should support you in everything that's the difference all of the other people who are in my life and surround me are my family and I'm lucky because I know so many people don't have a great relationship with their family or they haven't got a family to have that relationship with. Um, for me, I am fortunate enough for my mum to be literally my rock. She is one of my bestest friends who throughout, throughout my whole life, my whole life, she has been my best friend. And growing up in school, actually, a lot of people thought our friendship was really weird because I will tell her everything. I mean literally everything everything that happens in the bedroom everything that i've been through obviously sometimes when i was a bit younger maybe i would hold things back but she would find out eventually um because i just couldn't keep it from her and if i had any problems i'd be straight to her and a lot of people have friends who do that for them for me it was my mum you can be best friends with your mums okay <laughs> it's not weird um my boyfriend another example i just love being around him and i was in a relationship for i think three years maybe prior to him who i nothing nothing against him personally i just hated being around him and i stayed in that relationship because one i didn't know any different and two i think i was trying to prove people wrong who said like my mum because she she's right about everything said it was wrong um and you have that inkling in yourself where you just want to prove people wrong that no we will be together and we will last but realistically that's so toxic please don't do that if you're in that situation and then i met connor and i've never felt any of those emotions towards him i i want to be with him 24 7 he is my best he is another one of my best friends how many can you have but he honestly he is he is another person who just supports every single decision i make everything i do he's always he's my number one fan and so is my mum just stopped off on the way to mum's because she lives in the countryside and as you can see it's just so much nicer walking around here than walking around where Connor and I live which is just like on an estate in a um, very built up um, village. This is where we're walking and this is like over the train tracks. It's just really nice and peaceful. So if you're watching this and you haven't moved all day, get out in the sunshine. It will honestly change your mood and make you feel a lot better. Walking along this bit of road here actually makes me so emotional because it just reminds me of lockdown the like first proper lockdown in 2020 when i met connor this is the walk we did and it's just crazy to think like how far we've come and i just remember the first time meeting him and we did this walk so it's just bringing back nostalgic memories and i'm just getting emotional thinking about it i just thought i'd share that just a, a reminder for you that if you have places that you go that just bring back happy memories visit them because it's so worth it we just got back in the car did you have a nice walk 
Should we go see Nanny? Go see Bonnie? Rolo? That's definitely a yes. So we're gonna go there. I'm gonna dump my stuff in the skip and hopefully not get caught. So I'll catch you in a bit. Just got home from picking Connor up from work. Um, we went and got our car washed. So it's actually shining now and I'm eating some chocolate digestives. To meet the boyfriend. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's there. Oh, I can't show you. He's naked. <laughs> he's just getting dressed. We're going to take the wardrobe down. He's making his debut. He has to look good. <laughs> That's pressure. <laughs> I got dressed. <laughs> what are these things called? What? But you needed a what? An Allen key. I needed an Allen. He was just going to rip the wardrobe apart with his arms because he thinks he's Hulk. Don't think he would have done that, do you? No. No. Mainly because he's going to create mess. Don't want to clean it up. Oh yeah. Not because of the lack of strength or anything. Not because the lack of muscles, <laughs> eh? I'd like to say I'm helping, but I don't think I am. Apart from. You're not the only one who thinks that. What? Oh, you... <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't get it. You will when you watch it back. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Sometimes it's about using your head. <laughs> <laughs> so there's been a change of plan. What was meant to be a let's move the desks into the room and is turning into let's just paint the room and redecorate it. And fill in the gaps. And fill in all of the holes that we made when we first moved in. Once we filled the holes, we're going to go to B&Q, pick out some paint and probably get the first coat on tonight. So yeah, it's supposed to be a like an hour job is turning into a overnight job. Probably. Thanks to him. Probably a couple days. No, it's not gonna take a couple days. We're gonna crack on. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on Sunday. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>